Well, my name is Mariano Gil Jr. I'm from Brownsville, Texas. I work at Shot Republic and El Privado, and I've been bartending for over 20 years. Uh, I've been coming up to Houston for the last 10 years. I'm a part of USBG Houston. Um, my style of bartending is a little bit of flair, mixology, some entertainment, and I compete all over the world. So tell me, you've been in the game for a minute, how did you get your start in bartending? Because I imagine back then, they weren't hiring guys for bartenders. No, 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 actually, uh, I lied. You know, I got hired as a server and they were walking everybody, all the new hires into the, into the building and they were asking, are you a server or bartender, server or bartender? They'd only hired servers. And I was kind of listening to everybody, server, server, server. By the time it got to the 15th server, I was like, it was my turn. They're like, server or bartender? So I lied, I was like, bartender. Bought a book and just studied. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, yeah, ever since then. Yeah. How do you create it, that moment of having to learn how to bartend towards you continuing your thirst and quench for more education around the industry? Well, it's, it's relatively been the same situation for me since I started till now. It's, uh, you buy the book and you read it and you learn. You ask questions, you take seminars, you know? So it's a, it's a never-ending learning process. How has that quest for knowledge benefited you? in your advancement in this industry? Yeah, well, I mean, I started off as a, as a bartender, young novice bartender without knowing much. And 20 years later, now I, uh, I own two bars. I'm the United States champion for, uh, for flair bartending in the United, uh, for USBG. And yeah, I mean, I have an events company where I compete and bartend all over the world. Beautiful, man. Amazing resume. Now you're here in Houston competing in season two, week three of Speed Rails. What made you want to join and what are you looking forward to most about being a part of this outside of the cash prize? Well, outside of the cash prize, uh, I love to test myself, you know? So uh, I've been doing a lot of competitions this year and I've been watching Speed Rails and I really liked what it was all about. And uh, I love coming to Houston, to be honest, man. You know, the culture, the food, uh, the people, everything's great about Houston. So uh, I threw my name in there and sure enough, I was able, I was lucky enough to get accepted. And uh, now I just get to showcase, you know, my hard work. Dude, so I mean, you already touched on you owning your bar and you already touched on a lot of your bartending industry passions or anything outside of the bartending profession itself that interests you or that you uh, really I mean, I play a lot of soccer, I play a lot of chess, you know, uh, I go to the gym, I just always try and stay active and test myself. That's what's up, man. And how confident are you that you're gonna come down here and, and kick everybody's ass? I mean, this is what I do, you know? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, there's a, there's a big level of confidence. I wouldn't say it's arrogance, but I mean, I prepare really, really well. And uh, I pretty much practice every day all facets of bartending. So, so yeah, let's see what happens.